Today, I'm gonna to be testing and reviewing two products that you have asked about a lot. It is the Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant that comes in this very traditional looking Wolfgang bottle. It promises to be slick and glossy and durable and all of that other usual fare. And it's kind of a liquid wax, so it should be very traditional and easy to use. And it should provide kind of more durability like a ceramic product would. So we're also gonna take a look at the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Very similar product, promises all the same things, comes in kind of a shiny, pretty bottle, and it is also a liquid wax, and it should be very similar. Now, we're gonna put these against each other in my usual array of tests. So let's get started and see what these two products are all about. We're going to start out with ease of application by applying the two products that we're testing today. We're going to put the Wolfgang on the side and we're going to put the Meguiar's on this side. Before we get started, I want to show you a gloss reading on this panel and it's actually a little bit of a challenge to do that because the panel is not even so the results keep bouncing around so I keep having to find a spot where I get a good reading. So there we go, we've got about 94 95 even, 95.8 gloss units. So here on this side we're seeing about 96.4. I know this panel's in the mid 90s. And the problem is the panel is curved and this is not curved. And beyond being curved, automotive paint is not like my test panel. It is not perfectly consistent. If we take paint depth readings, we could see that they're going to be different from spot to spot. This is a very high side over there and we were getting Actually, a lot of paint over here. Let's try down here. There's more paint, less paint, more primer, less primer, more clear coat, less clear coat. Let's get started with the Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant first. The instructions couldn't be simpler. We're just applying it with an applicator pad, waiting 15, 20 minutes and buffing it off. We're gonna give this thing a shake. We're gonna take an applicator pad. We're gonna apply, hopefully, enough. I have not used this product yet. It is my first time using it. Dot it around in a few places. Ooh, it is kind of, I might need to use more. Well, this seems to kind of really resist spreading. Let's go cross hatch in this other direction, make sure we got every little spot. What I have found so far is that cross hatching is actually not the way to go. The little circular buffing action is working much better. It says 20 minutes before it is ready to wipe off. While the other product cures, let's give this hybrid ceramic wax from Meguiar's a shot. The instructions are exactly the same, except it's just three to five minutes to cure. And it says it will not haze. We're gonna start with a small amount and see if that's enough. We're gonna try the typical crosshatch pattern first. This stuff does seem to spread better. It smells really good too, like berries. Although, you know, don't be sniffing this stuff on purpose. So I think this product is working much better with the crosshatch pattern than the Wolfgang. All right, we're ready to remove the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic. So let's see how easy that comes off. And it is pretty easy. I can't really complain about that. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and try to wipe up this Wolfgang. Oh, that's not bad at all. Because it was a little tacky when it went on, I was expecting a difficult removal, but that was really easy. Oh, get that one little bit. Now it's time to award our very first points. And to remind you, we do a pass fail system for ease of application, slickness, and visual appeal. In this case, I think both products deserve a point for ease of application. I think both are reasonably easy to use. Before we continue, as a reminder, there are gonna be links down below in the description to all of the products we're testing in this video, along with some of the tools. They're Amazon affiliate links, and when you click through those and buy anything on Amazon, I get a very small commission, and it helps me run this channel. Now, there is also a link to my website that has a table of all the prior products we've tested, so you can match up these products and see how they compare, as well as find other interesting things to look at. Here is where we do the official gloss test that I score, and we use this panel here, which has a very uniform reading on the gloss meter. Now, to remind you, the way the scoring here works is whatever the gloss unit score average is, we subtract 94, the base gloss of the panel, from that, and if we gain points, if we get a positive number, then we add points. And if we get a negative number, we subtract points. So first, we're gonna turn our gloss meter on. We're gonna make sure it's recalibrated. Oh, 
gonna hold it a little longer. And we want that to say 104. And let's start with the Wolfgang and let's get a reading right up here somewhere. Looks like we got about 89.5. Looks like about 89.4 over there. Looks like about 88.7 in the middle. And let's go over here. And that looks like about 87.3. And looks like about 86.7 down here. Now the Wolfgang averaged 88.32 gloss units. So we're gonna subtract 94. And that means we will take 5.7, we're gonna round up. We're gonna take 5.7 points off the Wolfgang score for the reduction in gloss. Let's make sure we're still calibrated over here and looks like we are. And let's start taking readings on the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic. Looks like about 92.5 up there. I would say about 93.3. Looks like 93.2. Looks like about 92.6 over here. And looks like uh, 92.7 down here the hybrid ceramic wax averaged 92.86 gloss units. Now that means we will subtract 1.1 points from the hybrid ceramic wax. What I like to do now is an unscored test where I just wanna see if isopropyl alcohol can remove the wax and how long it takes to remove it. So first we spray some on. And what we're looking for here is to see if it'll bead. And we'll spray some over here on the Wolfgang side. And we could see that at a first shot, it has not acted as a nonpolar solvent and there is still beading. So the product did not immediately dissolve. So we wiped up all the isopropyl. Now let's take a look and see if a second spray will still result in beading. And what's interesting is you can see the Wolfgang side still beads, but the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic has already failed and there's no more surface tension to allow for the isopropyl to bead. And we could see there's definitely more failure now. Let's wipe that up and let's try another spray. There we go, now it's completely failed. And there we go, 93.8. Again, there's gonna be a slight tolerance. And 93.9 over here. It's now been 24 hours and our panel is cured on both sides and we're ready to start testing slickness and visual appeal. Let's start with the Wolfgang for a slickness testing. The way that I do the test is I will run my hand across the surface and tell how slick it feels. Now it's not very scientific, that's why it's pass fail, because it's sort of my opinion. Of course for comparison, there is also the control over here and it's tacky, and then I can tell just how much slicker that is. I would have to say this Wolfgang is really, really slick. This is one of the slicker products I've tested. I was very curious to see if the Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant would be similar to that Mustang back there. Now that Mustang I like to use as a reference because I put Wolfgang Deep Gloss 3 on the white portions, the paint, and that Deep Gloss 3 is possibly one of the slickest products that I've tested. The new Wolfgang paint sealant is probably just about every bit of slick as that one. So that means that our Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant is definitely getting one point for slickness. We can take a look at the slickness of the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax. Now, it definitely added slickness compared to the control, but I can tell you that if you run your hand on one panel and then move over to the Wolfgang, there is a very big difference in slickness. I will still give this a point. I think the slickness of the hybrid ceramic wax is acceptable. So let's move on to visual appeal. We're now looking at the Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant side and the paint sealant is on the left here and on the right is the control. And that little towel that I use to wipe camera lenses is right on the edge. The very left side of it is right on the edge. So that is where I'm focusing and hopefully as I maneuver my camera around you can see a clear line between the treated surface and the untreated surface. Sometimes these lines are hard to see in the camera, but with my eye, it does appear that the Wolfgang is darker and a little bit more like candy coat, like a second clear coat kind of look. I don't think it's quite the shiniest, glossiest thing in the world. In fact, I think the original Wolfgang Deep Gloss 3 is a little shinier looking, but I think it looks pretty darn good in terms of depth and visual appeal. 
So I will give this a pass on the visual appeal and one point. I am now on the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax side and I've done the same thing. There is a faint line and the Meguiar's did make the paint look a little darker and a little kind of more clear coaty and candy, but it's not as dramatic as on the Wolfgang side. I actually don't even know if the camera is gonna pick it up. Still looks glossy, still looks good. Maybe just isn't quite as pretty as the Wolfgang. And I'll try to capture the line a little bit, but I think I'm gonna have a hard time really showing it to you just because of how faint it is. And here's a nice kind of side shot overview of the panel. I think it looks good with either of these products on. I just kind of think I like the Wolfgang a little bit more. It's just a little thicker. And this kind of tells you that gloss is not necessarily everything. And speaking of gloss, we will go ahead and retest. So it looks like I'm getting about maybe in the 90s. See, it's kind of bouncing around. That's the problem because the surface is slippery now. So I can't, I can't even let go of that like I was earlier. If you remember earlier, we were kind of in those mid 90s, like even a little bit higher than mid 90s. And now we're kind of in the low 90s. So I think that jives with what we saw on the test panel. And now let's do kind of the same thing over here. See, it's so hard to get a good reading. It just keeps bouncing. Let me try over here maybe. Yeah, kind of mid 90s, 94. So we can see that more of the gloss has been retained on the side than on the other side. If you've enjoyed the video so far, I would love it if you click subscribe, left me a like, left me a nice comment. It means a lot to me. It feels like we're building a community. I love talking to all of you. I love learning more about products like the stuff back here. And I wanna know what you think about tips and tricks, uh, what you thought of the video, things we can improve, new test ideas. Any of that stuff is always great. I love engaging with all of you, and I hope to see you down below in the comments. Let's get back to it. For our durability testing, we're gonna be using the Adams Foam Cannon with the Adams Original Blue Shampoo, which we've tested to be pH neutral. I'm gonna have a link right up here in your corner so you can see how we tested the shampoos. We're gonna be using the same wash pad that I've used every time. Now, the way the scoring here works is that for every wash until the product fails, we will give a point. So if it fails after two washes, we'll give it two points. If it fails after 20, we'll give it 20 points and so on. This is where waxes can claw back a ton of points if they lost some in gloss or they had other shortcomings. This is, this is the big points here. So the first thing we're gonna do is use our pressure washer to see just how hydrophobic both the waxes are. And to remind you, we've got the Wolfgang on the left and we've got the Meguiar's on the right. So let's give the Meguiar's a shot and see just how it beads. That is very hydrophobic. I couldn't ask for better beating than that. That's just perfect. Let's look at the Wolfgang. Huh, they are very close, but I think I might actually edge out and say that the uh, Meguiar's is a little more performant on the beating. Let's do our first wash. We'll uh, plug in the foam cannon, make sure it's dialed in the exact same way we've been doing it. Now we're gonna do our foam pad. And the way we're gonna do this is kind of a very consistent pattern that I've been trying to use for every wash. And we'll do the same thing over here. Let's take a look at the Meguiar's first. We could see that it's still working, but it did seem to take a bit of a hit. It was much more hydrophobic before the first wash. Let's look at the Wolfgang. Wolfgang is terrific, and let's compare the two. And whoa, so I'm gonna flip this now. The Wolfgang is performing better and the Meguiar's after one wash is hurting. So I'm gonna keep doing washes and I'll take a pause and kind of show you guys when I see more levels of failure. All right, we are starting to see some results and let's do the seventh wash together. Let's take a look at the Wolfgang first. 
So we could see some amount of degradation in the hydrophobicity. And then let's take a look at the Meguiar's. And it's similar, but it's just larger patches. Let's shoot one right across both panels. And we can see they're both still working well. Now let's do the 14th wash together. Let's start with the Meguiar's. Now let's take a look at the Wolfgang. And again, we're seeing much the same thing. Heavy degradation, but it is kind of working, but it's getting close. Now what's interesting is I think the Meguiar's may have plateaued a little more at some point, and uh, maybe it's now overtaken the Wolfgang. And let's run across them and just show you what both look like shot down the middle. Let's see if either one of these has failed at 22. So let's do the Wolfgang first. So I'm inclined to call that failed. I mean, you can just see how it's really just sheeting off now. It just still has a little bit of, you know, spots of wax that work and some residue. So I'm gonna go ahead and call 22 for the Wolfgang SiO2. Now let's take a look at the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic. So that's still working a lot better than the Meguiar's, as you can tell. And it's interesting, they flip-flopped a few times, and eventually this one just kind of plateaued and just isn't failing to zero quite as quickly. All right, let's take a look and decide if it's kicked yet. So in my opinion, if that was my car, I would call that kick. There are still a couple of areas where there must still be a little wax. Let's call that a 30 washes. I think that's a fair number for the performance. So as we wrap up, let me give you my final thoughts on these two products. I thought the Wolfgang SiO2 paint sealant had some good things going for it. You know, it was more durable than something like the Deep Gloss, which is the product I really like from Wolfgang. But it didn't look quite as pretty. It did give a nice depth, but it lost some of the shine. And for example, the Deep Gloss 3 from Wolfgang doesn't do that. Now on the other hand, it almost doubled the durability. Now if we're talking about this guy from Meguiar's, I was really impressed with the durability. 30 washes was really, really great. I mean, that puts it right at the top of these kind of really simple non-coating products and it doesn't require a whole ton of prep. So really impressive. I also liked how much of the shine it kept. Unfortunately, it just didn't give that nice deep candy look like the Wolfgang did. So for durability, I think you definitely pick this one out of the two. And then for looks, I would definitely say the Wolfgang. And also the slickness. The Wolfgang made it really easy to wash. That pad just wanted to fly off the paint. Overall, I thought both these were solid. I'm glad I tested them. I think they're definitely worth exploring. And I think some people will put these into their arsenal. If you did enjoy the video, if you learned something, if you want me to make more, remember to like, subscribe, and leave me a nice comment. It does make a big difference for me. And I really enjoy talking to all of you. So I hope to see you down below in the comments. And then stay tuned for my next video.